What's up YouTube, Salt City Aviation here, back with another video, and today I'll be going over all the model aircraft that I got for Christmas this year. Now, as you can probably tell, they are all Delta Airlines aircraft. Um, there's one Gemini, and there are four NGs. Um, so the Gemini one came from my grandparents. It's the Delta A2-2300. Then we have two NG uh, Delta 738s and two NG Delta A321s. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the boxes, and then we'll move on to, first we'll do the Delta A220. So the box for the Delta A220 is actually my first um, my first box of the new Gemini box layout, I guess. Um, before, they had the Delta widget kind of on the side here. Then this was, it didn't have the Delta logo. Um, the inside is cleaned up. It doesn't have that, the kind of, um, I don't know what to call it. It's just a lot more organized now. Um, a lot more generic, but it looks pretty neat, and I do like it. Here's the back. It's also cleaned up, cleaned up quite a bit. Uh, it's a 2020 release. So um, there's a box for the A220. Um, now we'll do the NG738. So it's a nice, I it's a nice design. I like how they did the fade from the. I mean, the widget is just pretty much the same color. It's just two different shades, but on the box they did a. Um, it kind of fades away and just goes into the blue there, and then the bottom is similar to the A220. It's just the white stripe with Delta on it. Um, so I do like that. It looks pretty good, I think. And the back is pretty much the same thing. It has your licensing and all that. Um, so there's two of those. And then we have one of two NG Delta A321s. Now, I did a video on this already, so if you want to go check that out, feel free to. Um, but I'll still kind of go over this in case you're curious or don't feel like watching that one. So overall, pretty good design. So now we will get on to the Delta A220. So this model came from my grandparents for Christmas. Um, it's, um, again, it's Gemini. It's pretty good overall. Uh, there was some loose antennas. Uh, this one and the one in the back were both loose. Um, there's like a little bit of a kind of a chip behind the wing. I'll try and focus on it. Okay, I really didn't want to have to turn the flashlight on, but that's the only way I'm going to get to show you. So, like, there's this big scratch under the wing there. Um, it doesn't, it really just, it's really small, but it's definitely visible. It doesn't look very good. Um, also, another thing that kind of disappointed me was the landing gear. It's, it's like a really weird gray, almost like a see-through, I want to say. Like, it looks somewhat transparent. It's just not my favorite. It's just kind of weird, I think. The nose gear is really chunky. Um, not looking too good, but overall it's a pretty good mold. Um, here's the antennas. The back one is actually still kind of poked out. And then, I mean, you know, I had to glue them in. So I think overall I did a decent job, but it really, I tried to push down on it and it couldn't go in any further, which is kind of annoying. So overall, I am happy to have it. Uh, it's going to help with my Detroit updates. Um, I did also notice that on a lot of Gemini models, like the 737s, the uh, the horizontal stabilizers are made of plastic. Uh, you can see they bend a bit. I don't want to really break this one, but you can kind of see it bends. The vertical stabilizer, I noticed, is also plastic. And we can kind of see this if I can uh, do it without breaking it. I don't know if you can see that, but it is really kind of wobbly and flexible. So I don't get what the point of that was. It's it's tail heavy anyway, so it's not helping too much to make it plastic. But if it was metal, it might not even be able to stay on its nose. So it might just be completely tail heavy. Um, so whatever they had to do to get it to not be as tail heavy, I mean, that's fine with me, I guess. I'll get into detail now. So I'll start off with the nose. Uh, nose cone in the cockpit windows. Uh, there's the nose gear again. Uh, the landing gear on this aircraft do not roll. You have the Sky Team logo to the left of the L1 door, the Delta titles, and the windows, which on the A220 are quite large. We have the first antenna, um, the overwing exit, and the root on top of the wing. You have the engine 
leading edge of the wing, the tip of the wing, um, your flaps and flap tracks, and then there's spoilers and that kind of stuff on top of the wing. You have your fuel uh, tank outlines. <clears throat> you have the second antenna. Uh, there's a little drawing on top where the Wi-Fi box would be. Uh, it's kind of annoying to me as well. A lot of other people agree with this. How the Herpa 1 to, uh, 1 to 500, so a lot smaller of a model, uh, but the Herpa 1 to 500 scale actually has a 3D Wi-Fi box, but the Gemini, who is a bigger model, doesn't. It's just 2D. Uh, so that is kind of annoying. I would like to see a Wi-Fi box present on this aircraft. Uh, I think that would look really cool and probably would sell better, honestly. Um, I'm not too disappointed. I guess the rest of the aircraft kind of makes up for it. Uh, there's the third antenna and the registration with the American flag. November 302 Delta Uniform. You have the L2 door, the horizontal stabilizers, the APU, and the vertical stabilizer with the beautiful Delta widget. And the right side is pretty much identical, just with the cargo luggage doors. There's one in the back there, and one up front. Uh-oh. Man, landing gear just fell off. Look at that. Just as I'm recording this. Oh my gosh, Gemini. I haven't even really touched this model very much, like, so that's kind of disappointing. I guess I'll fix that, but I'll, I'll continue with what I was trying to say here. But you have the second, or the front, baggage door below the Delta titles. Um, yeah, but that's the Gemini Jets Delta A220-300 with a broken tire. That's pretty disappointing. That's going to be a, maybe not a difficult fix, but maybe messy because it's a pretty small part. Uh, so that's, man, that's really unfortunate. I was actually pretty happy with this model overall despite the antenna problem. And now we have a missing, or, you know, a loose tire just popped off. Um, I guess I'll fix that, but there you have it, the Gemini Delta A220-300. Alright, so for the next two models, I'm hoping we don't have any mishaps like the A220, but um, these are the NG models, Delta Airlines, Boeing 737-800s. These are both really nice models. Uh, my only complaint would be, compared to the Sky Team 738 that I had from NG, or I still have it, but um, the the wing is kind of at a steep angle compared to the Sky Team. It's still not too bad, but I prefer the way that the Sky Team was just because it's not really a very steep angle. Uh, the Sky Team is, I'd say it's better than this one because the wings are pretty, maybe not really that steep, but just more so than the Sky Team, and both are like that. So I do think NG's mold either was changed or maybe it's just some kind of a quality control issue but um these are still really good um like the sky team they have the two wi-fi boxes which is really nice one of these had an antenna on the bottom i don't i don't remember which one it was i fixed it up pretty good i can't even tell anymore uh it was this antenna on the bottom that it just came loose and fell out thankfully i was able to fix it and get it back on so it was either one of these two obviously um aside from those two things uh, the wings and the antenna. This is a really nice model. So we'll get started up front with the nose cone and the cockpit windows and the landing gear, which do roll, the nose gear and the main gear. You have the Sky Team logo to the left of the L1 door, uh, and there's the L1 door. Then you have the Delta titles, the first Wi Fi box, uh, some cabin windows. You have the second antenna um, on the top of the fuselage. You have the two overwing exits and roots. The engines, leading edge of the wing, the uh, tip of the wing there. On the top, you have your fuel tank outlines, your flaps and spoilers. There is the second Wi Fi box and your two antennas below the aircraft there. You have your, um, your back antenna. Um, really tiny. I'm surprised that they're able to make it that small. That's just crazy to me. Then you have your registration, which is November 3734 Bravo. You have the L2 door, the horizontal and vertical stabilizers uh, with the Delta widget. Uh, looks really nice. I know the lighting isn't great, but um, they did a great job with the colors on this aircraft. And the other side is the same thing. It has the baggage doors. Uh, so there's one in the back and one up front. All right, and now for the last two models, uh, the NG 1-400 Delta A321s. Um, these are in the normal livery, obviously. 
Um, one of these had a Wi-Fi box that came loose. It's this one I remembered because I, when I glued it in, I realized there's a bigger gap between the Wi-Fi box and this antenna here. You can, it's pretty obvious uh, when you compare it to this one where the gap is like half the size between that antenna and the Wi-Fi box. Um, I mean, I didn't make any paint smudges or anything with the super glue. I mean, everything looks good. It's just a little bit further back. So that's how I know this one had a loose Wi-Fi box. But everything else with A321s was pretty good. Uh, no missing wings or tires or anything. Everything was pretty good except for that Wi-Fi box. Um, like my other A321s from NG, the engines are perfect except they are just a little bit too low. Uh, overall, I prefer it to the Gemini mold. I do have the Gemini A321, and I can say... Uh, with certainty that this is a lot better. Um, overall, uh, it's a really nice model. Happy to have more of them in my fleet. So we'll get started up front with the nose cone and the cockpit windows, Sky Team logo, the L1 door, the nose gear, and all air or all landing gear on this aircraft roll. L2 door, uh, Delta titles if I didn't say that already, and there's the antenna on top of that, uh, the L1 door. You have the CFM engines, again, correctly sized, just a little bit too low. The leading edge of the wing, uh, the sharklet, fuel tanks on the wings, spoilers, flaps, and the flap tracks. The L3 door, there's that Wi-Fi box. Um, some more antennas, and then a really tiny one in the back, like a 738. Um, registration, which is November 339, Delta November. L4 door, horizontal and vertical stabilizers, beautiful delta widget. Again, the lighting is not great. Um, colors are pretty much the same as a 738, so that's pretty good. And then there is the APU exhaust comb. And here's the other side with the baggage doors. There's that one in the back, and there's another door behind that. I'm not sure if they use that for bags. I, I mean, it's quite a bit smaller, so I don't know if they, I don't know what that's used for. Um, and then there's one up front below the Delta titles. And then here's the other A321 I have, just in case you're wondering if it's any different. Again, it's just that Wi-Fi box. So those were the NG Delta A321s. So those were all the models I received for Christmas this year. Uh, I'm really happy to have all of them in my fleet now. Uh, it's really going to help with Detroit updates and all that. They're all really nice. Uh, hopefully your Gemini doesn't come with loose tires or antennas um so that was unfortunate the mold is decent i would say so it's it's a, overall a good aircraft um same goes for the ng a321s and 738s hopefully they don't arrive broken or you know paint chips has been a common thing for ng recently um so again very happy to have these in my fleet with that being said i do hope you enjoyed the video if you did please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.